Hello everybody and welcome back to Round Zero. Hope you all having a great and fantastic day today. This is just going to be a quick video before the fight. I was trying to go live. It looked like it was working. Um, but my the camera that I have connected to this camera kept disconnecting. And so um, I'm just using a regular camera I didn't want to use, but it's fine. Um, I'll try out the live stuff and figure it out next time. But here is the time right before that Canelo versus Smith fight, so you guys can see. Um, because I don't think YouTube tells you what time it would be posted, it'll just tell you time to date. But there's the time, uh, slightly an hour before, or less than an hour supposedly before the fight starts. It's going to happen at 11 Eastern, but I am at Central at 10, so it's supposedly it's going to start around 10 o'clock. So I got a few minutes just to talk real quick. Um... Uh, well, Canelo uh, has recorded 53 wins, one draw, sorry, two draws with uh, one loss, and Smith is uh, undefeated. He has 27 wins with zero losses. Um, well, uh, real quick, what, the, what I want, or what I guess what I expect from Canelo in this fight, um, Smith has a really long reach, okay? He has, like, I think five inches over Canelo, which is insane. That's insane reach. Like a huge reach advantage as well. Like he's also like six three, and Canelo's five eight. So that's gonna be trying to get it up there and trying to get you know hard to try to go for the face. So Canelo just needs to be persistent. Um, he his defense is has been improving over the years tremendously. I like what he's doing with his defense, knowing really know how to with his hands, his arms, his, how he uses his elbows to block from the body. Just almost like instinctively now, and um. He's a really good, accurate power puncher, and uh, one thing I guess well, the, well, what that he has to do is take into initiative and okay, there's five re five inches there, right? All right, duck and slip in. It's, I mean, it's it's ba it's a simple it's a simple thing. It's a simple. I'm pretty sure people have said it. It's, it's like the simplest thing to do when someone's you know has a bigger reach than you. But hey, you just gotta go for it, you know. Um, go in under and go for the body, you know, body nice, powerful. Um, left, right, body shots, and some hooks if he can. Um, try to get his if you know if he's blocking, you know, try to get that arm tired. You know, I think Canelo, his 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 speed's pretty. I think he's slightly faster than Smith because I know Smith has some really fast. You know, he has really fast hooks, and of course, it's long. I mean, that power, boom, boom, he comes in. But his defense is weak in the middle. Canelo can just come up and throw some nice short uh uppercuts in there. I guess some nice body shots would be work better and just tire him out that way, making sure that he doesn't get, uh, making sure that Smith doesn't get full extent of uh, his arm and his, you know his reach advantage. Um, just keep pursuing, making sure that he doesn't uh, get that length and fighting in mid, trying to fight nice and close, fast, and you know just dodging weave and try to corner him. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't want to go for the for the face. I think that's a big. I mean, if he can't, if he sees an opening, try to go for it. He's going to be throwing those uh, hit, um, right hooks uh, in the fight. So if he sees a quick opening, boom, go over cross, try to reach right here, and he can reach. Boom. This this is a good reaching point. Up here might be a little too high, but boom. All he needs to do is step in quick and come back into defense and go in for the body. You know, as for Smith, it's just. The opposite of what I just said about Canelo, keeping his range and his distance, really throwing, uh, try to get some nice, um, actually just sticking like with his jab, focusing on his jab a lot. Um, and, uh, sorry about that, I looked at my phone, my phone's acting weird. Um, and, uh, just keep, uh, staying into Zoom, throwing a lot of nice, good jabs, trying to make, try to keep his distance away. Throw a nice, probably a one-two combo, or trying to uh, sneak if he goes in for his jab cut, get an uppercut, a long uppercut right there, so he can extend his arm, so he can push kind of Canelo away. Doesn't want to get in close quarters with this guy. Um, definitely like try to do like maybe some, you know, uh, to protect his chin a little bit more. Do something, you know, maybe I'll try to block it, so you won't have to worry about that. And he knows, he, and he knows when it's coming, you know, try to block. One more I got him. I don't have to worry about that. And just, you know, jab, jab, try to keep position so he can get his rhythm going. And, um, I mean, his, his hooks are really powerhouse. So, I mean, he, he can, he can, re like, he's going to be looking to him like this. So he can really see and observe what Canelo is doing. And just, just find that opening. Either nice across 
Uh, I mean, it's going to be more effective him going in and try to see if he can connect. As soon as he's ducks, he can come up, boom, and land one in the middle of Canelo. You know, and um, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little uh, biased because, I, I mean, I, I, I personally want Canelo to win. And I think Canelo is going to win. He has the experience. He has more experience. Um, it's been a lot of fights. Um, but Smith is a good fighter. You know, he's a good fighter. Good knockout puncher. He has reach, height, advantage. You know, and he's fast with those, you know, hooks. So you got to be worried about that. Um, uh, just in terms of power, like, uh, can and I think Canelo's got it too, because Canelo has proven he, I mean, he went up to the light heavyweight division um, that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with big dudes, you know, and he sticks to his training regimen. He's pretty disciplined, you know. I think uh, both fighters are going to perform well, but I just think Canelo's going to be on top. And uh, as you guys know, I always want to see uh, a knockout. It's probably going to go for the long run, but I don't want that. I, I really want a KO. I want a KO between... Uh, What's, uh, I would say seven through nine. Uh, I'm leaning towards eight and nine because you can get to, it's more than half and you get to see more of the, of the fight and it, it ends like you know like just three four rounds you know four rounds right before the you know round twelve so it, it's a good number for KO to happen round nine round eight that'd be pretty cool if it can happen you know but I'm always I'm always looking for a KO so um, but my probably is, is gonna go for the distance but I do think Canelo. Is gonna go uh, in in this one and just straight out, you know. I think just uh, outbox um, a Smith because I think experience is gonna come in to place a little bit and just like the fights that Canelo has been in the last um, two or three two uh, three years uh, really uh, has made him just a better boxer and his defense has improved tremendously. How he's moving in and like like his his uh, accuracy and precision is coming up really well. You know, so uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Right before the fight, who's going to win? Let me know what's happening. Hopefully, you guys can be able to see it. Sorry about the late video. I was trying to go live. It didn't work. It's okay. Next time, uh, I don't know when I'll go live. It was just an idea above my head. But hopefully, next time, um, it can it can happen and it can work. Um, and my phone is going off. Um... And uh, and now I'm on vacation, so hopefully you guys can see there's going to be hopefully a lot more videos coming up uh, in this this past month within 30 days. Hopefully you guys can get, I'm going to try to push some more videos out there. Get at least, uh, I'm, I'm going to see if I can push twice a week. It might be too much, but for sure I'm trying, I, I can hopefully push five videos uh, within this month. If not, I, I, it would be pretty cool if I can push 10 in a month i'm trying to figure out how i can put that in my schedule by am vacation time so hopefully it won't be a problem um hope you all have a good and wonderful day guys enjoy the fight okay um it's gonna be a great one <laughs> all right and uh i'll see you and until the next round guys later